So I'll give you a little tip. This is how I've seen about four pro teams do this. This is literally how drafting goes in pro teams. Are you ready? This is how all pro teams draft. They draft like this. They do this all the time. So you'll be in a meeting and coach will have like seven, eight different iterations of draft. And then you'll all choose which one you think's best and play for it. Right? So like, for example, let's say let's, Weibo, Weibo's blue side, right? So the draft is kind of weird. So the way you plan for draft is you, you think about locked bands and you think about match bands, right? So, for example, an example of a match ban. If I'm Weibo and I ban Orianna, you might want to think of a match ban of a zero, right? And you can f the way drafting works is you can force match bans, right? So if I'm last ban on blue side, right? Let's do a, a very weird. Uh, let's say uh, we ban Jace, Zaya, they ban Rumble. Uh, let's just say Vi for argument's sake, okay? Right. Now I'm last ban. I, I my third ban. I can force your hand, right? So let's say I ban Azir here. Or let's say I ban Oriana, because he plays more Oriana, just for this example. Now, what do you do with BLG? Maybe you want to ban Jarvan here. But now you can't really ban Jarvan, because you ban Jarvan, they first pick Azir. Right? And Oriana's banned. So I could go Nico into it, but maybe you think it's a bad matchup or something, right? Let's just say, for example, let's say you ban Nico here. So now we can't play Nico into Azir. So, do we ban Azir? Okay, we ban Azir. Now they get Jarvan first pick, and... We're gonna have to match it with Vi. Is that, do you want to do that? Or do you want to just leave a zero open? Let them have a zero. We'll take Jarvan. And we can random ban. And what we can random ban is something that they would pick on 2 3, right? Because if we do Jarvan Aphelios, what are you playing into Jarvan Aphelios? Well, what's Light been playing? He's been playing like Zeri or something, hasn't he? He's been playing Kaisa. So, for example, you could last ban Kaisa here in, in prediction of their 2 3 and let them have a zero first pick and take two OPs and then pinch them on the 2 3, right? Does that make sense? So, the way drafting works is you can match ban or. You can take a gamble. So that's how you gamble, right? I give you a first pick, which I know you want Azir here. There's no way you are banning Orianna. Because banning Orianna makes no sense otherwise. Otherwise, we just trade Orianna Azir. If you're banning Orianna, you're getting Azir. So for example, here, I could ban, like, you know... Uh, I could even ban Rakan, let's say. Because maybe here you want to do uh, Rakan Rel or something. Oh, when I play Aphelios Jarvan. What are your predictions for so, WBG versus BLG? So you can always, like, you can even, if you want to be super cocky, you can you can ban. So let's take that same iteration where they want to first pick Azir and I want Jarvan, right? You can get super cocky and ban a counter pick, right? What do I mean by a counter pick? Let's say, what's a good example? I can ban, I'm against Bin. Let's say, let's swap the sides. I'm against Bin and I'm, I'm Weibo. You first picked Azir right now, right? I can ban Jax. Why? Well, now I can blind pick Aatrox on one. Now, <clears throat> even though I haven't banned your AD, you have to match top, right? Otherwise, you're getting banned out again. So let's say he plays his Gwen or something, right? I don't know, whatever top laner. Gwen Aphelios. Now I get Rakan. And if you don't get uh, Aphelios, I get Rakan, Aph uh, Aphelios if you go Rakan. So what you're doing here is you're force picking. So you can force ban, but also you can force pick. Because what I've done is I've pinched your top pool that counters my top and I've made it so you have to match top because if you don't match top, I ban out two more top laners. So if you don't match top here, then I ban what, I don't know, Camille oh, Gwen, let's say. Go, I don't know. And then you're going to have to play Cassante or something. So uh, drafting is really weird. It depends what you want to do. It really depends what you want to do. Depends how big your champ pool is and how aggressive you want to be in draft. Because the safest thing I can do this whole draft, I can ignore all of those scenarios. Ignore all of them. How? By banning Azir and figuring out how to play against Jarvan first pick. That solves everything. That stops everything. Now I can just be like, well, I'll just play Nico and Aphelios because I don't need to pick jungle. And now I can pick Vi on three or I can pick Kai'Sa here, for example, because I'm against Jarvan. Vi on three, you know, something like that. That's the simplest iteration. So what pro teams do, obviously, is you have like four or five examples. <clears throat> where you match bands and then you have four or five examples where you get aggressive on target bands and target picks, right? So, I don't know why I even talk. Look at this chat. Now, why do I move my mouth? Let's go, man. This guy's like, can we talk about some analysis? And then it's like, Hello, okay, yeah, let's do it. Sexo. Then this chat is just being degenerate as fuck. 
They're just being degenerate as fuck. Someone says, what happens if they ban Azir? What do you mean? So let's say they ban Azir here? Or what? <laughs> so, yeah, the draft is very dependent. But what you do like, when you're... Like, let's say we're, we're Weibo, we're blue side. What you do against BLG is you plan ahead, right? So let's let's try and I'll, let's imagine we're Weibo, okay? We're Weibo coaching staff. This is probably somehow some kind of oh, way their meeting cool. was going. You're against Billy Billy. Billy Billy oh, is a really strong Jax team, and they're not a very strong Rumble team. Their Rumble is good, but they don't play much Rumble, and they ban a lot of Rumble, right? In our research, they ban a lot of Rumble. So scenario one, they ban Rumble. Likely, very likely. So let's go through this draft. It will take us ten minutes to solve. It's easy. We expect them to ban Rumble, and we're gonna match Jax ban. Very simple. Now. Is that Rumble ban gonna be the, the next layer of that? Is you know this is the easy trade off. Oh, I this go, happens man. they ban Rumble, we take out Jax one for one top. Oh, the seven. next layer is, what if we don't ban Jax? Do they ban Rumble? Because maybe BLG thinks if we first pick Rumble, they'll play Jax into it. Do we want to do that? Yes or no? Do we want to play J Rumble into Jax? Well, we can try. So that's how game one works in the best of five. This is the risk of the draft. This is the whole crutch of the draft. Can we play Rumble into Jax? And you'll go through scenarios, you know, you maybe they'll take away Jarvan because they're playing you're playing Rumble, you play Vi Kaisa. And if you lose the game, maybe after game one, your coaches your top laner's like, now nah, we can't play Jackson's Rumble. Uh, Rumble into Jax, but maybe you practice it. So you, you ask yourself, if I don't ban Jax, do they ban Rumble? Because BLG might just play a game of chicken. You know, it's like we're not banning Rumble. You can have it. As long as Jax is open. That's one layer of the draft that you can think of. The second layer of the draft is mid lane and support, right? Where Weibo Gaming will look at Yagao at Worlds and be like, hmm, well, we're blue side. Why did why did Weibo pick blue side? I think Weibo picked blue side to target Yagao personally. I think they're targeting Yagao. I don't see any other weak point in draft. So my opinion for what Weibo is probably doing here is they're going to try and punish Yagao. How are they going to do that? Well, I think they probably know. Xiaohu probably said something, I'm guessing, or the coach was like, if we ban Nico on blue side and first pick Oriana, what's this guy going to play? If he plays Azir versus Oriana, I'll clap him in lane. And then we have winning mid. Um, so you can ban around it. So let's look at Billy Billy's champs so far. Six games of Jarvan on Shun. So I, like in terms of champion pool and what they've shown and where they found success, you could just do Jax, G Nico, Jarvan on blue side and play for Oriana first pick. But then the problem is Zaya's up, right? So that scenario is good because the draft is good for us, but that's on the condition that BLG bans Zaya. If they don't ban Zaya, then we need to hold our last ban. Because if they ban, let's say they ban... Uh, I don't know, what's what it, Rakan, they're banning a lot of Rakan. Now I have a now I have a, a task ahead of me. I have a couple of options here. Option number one uh, is I can ban uh, Zaya. But if I ban Zaya, they ban Oriana. So now I have to take a, a Jarvan or Azir. Option number two is I don't oh, ban Zaya and I cool, pray. Man. Okay, I pray. Leaking way both strats for free. I pray that they ban Zaya here. I can't really force them to ban Zaya though, can I? What can I ban as an AD carry to make them have to ban Zaya? You know, I could ban Aphelios, maybe. And then they're like, oh shit, well, they could have they're gonna first pick Zaya if we ban Zaya. That's a risk though. Do you wanna take that risk? Because if they don't ban Zaya. Light then has to play Zaya, but Weibo has banned Zaya in 91% of their games. A lot of that was on red side, yeah. But does Light want to play Zaya? He hasn't played it yet. So that's the problem with smaller champion pools or maybe less comfort. Because I, as a coach, I can't run into this scenario. What happens if they just ban Oriana now? Now what? Azir Zaya trade. I'm taking away a champ from Elk, that's his best champ, to take away a champ from Xiaohu, which is his best champ, right? It's like not the best. I'm on blue side and I'm trading this and it's not even that good for us. So yeah, um, there's a lot of scenarios that Wave needs to go through. But personally, I think they're doing some kind of Jax, Nico, Jarvan rotation. Or maybe like Jax, Nico, Zaya, I would say, Oriana first pick. Or, you know, if BLG ban Oriana, then some kind of like Jarvan force here. For example, I think... I think Weibo is very lucky. Hulk, let's go. Very, 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 very lucky. Twitch if chat when they watch BLG the ban do analysis, so my dog. Uh, Oriana or Zaya on the 1-2. They're very lucky because this changes the whole draft, right? If they ban Oriana or Zaya, oh, they're doing me a man. favor. Why? Because then I'll just change my Weibo first pick around. DD now I can start prioritizing things like Jarvan. Or I can start prioritizing things like, uh, I don't know, uh, Rakan. I don't know. 
doesn't matter because Oriana's down. And if they ban both, even better. Uh, so yeah, I think Weibo is gets a, a, a breath of fresh air if Oriana Zai is banned because now they can like if they see if they ban let's say they ban Jarvan here, then they ban Oriana, then they ban they're like hmm well we can play for Zaya first pick because they ban Oriana and Jarvan's down, we can afford to ban Azir. Now what does Azir ban do? That basically matches mid, right? And the reason you match mid is now you're telling BLG look, you've got one ban Pog, and go, Nico man. and Zaya are up. Petro. What do you want to ban? I think you're in a much better spot there. Because they're prioritizing a champ. For example, let's say they ban Zaya. We take away Nico. They ban Nico, we take away Zaya. The most likely thing they'll do is they'll ban something else, right? When there's two OPs up, you never ban one OP. It doesn't make any sense. Why are you giving them a first pick OP and not trading? So obviously they'll do the two, three ban, right? So they'll probably ban something like Kaisa, let's say. I don't know. Random example. So now if you take Zaya. Oh no, no, no they won't do the Rakan, sorry. So now if you take Zaya. They would take their their the the Nico and then they'll take like I don't know Vi or something I don't know or, or match AD with Kai or it doesn't matter anything or Aatrox doesn't matter. But what you're doing here is their first their if if both are open you have two champions where where was I in this scenario I think you're you're much better off because if they do something like Zaya Nico Vi they're playing um my my brain just fucking stopped for a second when I read that message they're playing um. Uh, dive into Zaya, right? So what they're doing is they're playing Nico Vi into Zaya, which is like, that's fine. You can just play something like Maokai here. You can maybe take the Shy's Aatrox. He can match top because Jax is banned. He can play his Gwen or his, his, he can't really play Gwen in this draft. I don't know. He can play Xante or something. Then on 4-5, oh, you can play like, I don't know, you can play like some kind of Alistar lane if you ban certain supports or if Chris wants to play Melio with certain bands with Blitzcrank and shit. The draft's much better. Whereas if you're playing like Zaya into Mage, like Orianna, I don't know. Do you really want to trade those champs? Anyway, that was a small draft rent. Um, Renata will be very high prio. But the problem with Renata is... <clears throat> I don't want to open that Google again. If you blind Renata, right? You need Kalista. So Kalista, I think, is another champ. I was just giving you example bands, right? Kalista is a champ that will bend, right? You need Kalista. You can do a Filios Renata. Anything after that kind of gets a bit shit. But the problem is... Renata is going to struggle versus Vas Varus Ash, you know. If I play Varus Ash into, into that lane, they are going to struggle a bit. It's going to be a bit annoying, you know. And the question is, can Crisp play Ash? Can pl Crisp play Heimerdinger? What about if they play some kind of Caitlyn Lux? What about like Estral Karma? There's so many things that they can play. When you say Renata is good, sometimes in draft, it all depends on who pulls the trigger. Who pulls the trigger? And personally, I think the person who will pull the trigger is Crisp. So another break point in this series, you know, how we said that you can try Rumble into Jack's matchup and that'll free up your draft if you win the first game. What Weibo could do is they could blind pick Renata on blue side, on 2-3. They could just blind Renata. Why? Because On isn't a huge range support player. He isn't. He is a mini support player. Now, two things will happen if you do that. One, he will play a Blitzcrank game or some kind of hook champ. If you can win that against that, perfect. Number two is he plays an Ash lane, but he hasn't shown much Ash. He hasn't shown much Heimerdinger. This was old school champs like a year ago. So game one for both teams is always you decide on a plan. You take the information you have in draft and expectations on certain matchups. And if it works, you stick to the plan. If it doesn't work, then you change the plan. Now you will have loads of plans coming into the draft. So that's why you see teams who are even 2-0 up. They don't run it back. They just change it all. Because they're scared that their plan has been found out by the enemy team because they're losing. So they'll just throw a different plan at them. They'll do something completely different. They'll blind something random. They'll pick a random champ. They'll just play Annie or something. Pog, so that throws a spanner in the works. And as much as you might lose, it's better to go for something they haven't seen versus something they played against twice in most cases. So that's how best of fives works. All right, where's my edge? Okay, I'm done ranting about draft now. 